Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look ahead to the West Ham game on Sunday. Going to be a very difficult one. West Ham absolutely flying at the minute. Obviously, we've just leapfrogged them back into fourth place in the Premier League table. But the first thing I want to talk about is the charity bet ahead of this game. Mark Caldwell knocked it out of the park with Sadio Mane to score and Liverpool to have the most corners against Spurs. That netted Pieta House, which is the suicide prevention charity that we're, ourselves and Boyle Sports are going to donate all this season's winnings to. So Mark got that bet correct. €130 Euro will be going to Pieta House at the end of the season. But Mark now moves on to week number two. And you know what? He's stuck with the same again. So here's the charity bet for the game against West Ham again with thanks to our sponsors, Boyle Sports. If you're going to have any flutters on any bit of sport over the weekend, folks, please do use Boyle Sports. There's a link to sign up in the description. And as always, when you sign up if from if you're from the UK or Ireland age 18 plus, you place your first 10 quid bet with Boyle, you will get at least one 10 quid free bet from them as well. And they also have uh, one of their no-lose offers on this weekend for United's game at Arsenal. So basically if you go on there, let's say it's your first First bet go on put your first tenner on if it loses you'll get your tenner free bet back because of no lose offer and also you'll get your free bet again for signing up and placing your first tenner deposit so if you're from ireland you could potentially get up to 50 quid and free bets there just for signing up so again shout out to boil sports but the charity bet for this week sadio mane to score and liverpool to have the most corners against west ham that's 21 to 10 so that would pay out 105 euro profit if that comes in for Mark Caldwell, and that will go into the kitty along with the other 130 euro, whatever else we make this season, to go to Pieta House, which is a suicide prevention charity here in Ireland that do marvellous work. So that's the charity bet for this week. Again, shout out to Boyle Sports for that. And Mark Caldwell is the first person to get one right. So Mark has one point on the Anfield Agenda leaderboard. Mark also received his 10 of free bet today from Boyle Sports. If Mark gets this one right, he'll get two points. If he gets it wrong, we move on to Ian, who's the next Anfield Agenda subscriber that will be picking the charity bet. If you want to be involved in the charity bet, ladies and gents, you have to be a member of Anfield Agenda FC. That way we can verify who you are and all that stuff. So if you want to join, click the blue join button or have a look at the link in the description. It is four ninety nine a month. You get all the Anfield Agenda emojis. You get the Anfield Agenda badge beside your name. You get into our Discord group. You also get access to having a, a little pop of the charity bet as well so that's the charity bet for this week but now to the preview section of it as always i'm going to start off with my score prediction ladies and gentlemen i thought long and hard about this one i'm not going to lie it wasn't an easy one to go with so this is what i've gone with for the score prediction i think liverpool are going to beat west ham by two goals to one i do not imagine that this is going to be an easy evening's work on sunday west ham are absolutely flying Suchek is in tremendous form for them as well um You've got to give a little bit of credit. I mean, we always banter David Moyes, but David Moyes has got West Ham winning, I think it's six or seven in a row or something. It is a tremendous run. And uh, I don't believe there are many West Ham fans out there who honestly believe that they would be up there fighting for a Champions League place halfway through the season. And David Moyes and West Ham deserve full credit for that. That being said, I fully believe that we can go to the London Stadium and get a result. Now, I sat down again to think about my predicted 11 for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I've gone with for this game. This is the 11 that I believe Jurgen Klopp could well choose to take the pitch against West Ham. It doesn't look like Fabinho's going to be back. So we're going to have Alisson in goal, Trent at right back, Robbo at left back. I'm thinking we're going to see Jordan Henderson and Nat Phillips at the heart of the Liverpool defence. Moving into midfield... The big decision for me was, do I keep in James Milner, who had an absolute belter of a game the other night, or do I give Curtis Jones the opportunity, who did well when he came on? I've sided with the youngster and the fresh legs, so I'm going to go for Thiago, Gino Wijnaldum, and Curtis Jones in midfield, and then Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino, and Mohamed Salah up front. Now, of course, there are other options available to the gaffer. He could go with... Uh, Alex Oxley chamberlain he could go with, and I doubt this, the Kumi Minamino. He could also, of course, put James Milner back in there. There are other options that he could do as well. Shakiri could get a run in midfield in that attacking midfield position. But that's the 11 that I believe Jurgen Klopp should choose for the game against West Ham at the London Stadium. Again, I'm getting a bit more optimistic in my predictions, a bit more bold. I predicted a 2-2 draw against Spurs. I was happy to be wrong on that one. Obviously, we won that game last night, and we're all still smiling about it. But, you know, usually when we travel to West Ham, I have to say I'm always very, very confident. I think I, I just think to myself, we'll go there and we'll get the job done. We'll get the win. But, full credit where it's due. 
They've dug in, they've ground out results, and they deserve our respect. So it's not going to be an easy one, but I think we're going to get a 2-1 win at least away. Uh, if you want to push me for a goal scorer, I actually agree with Mark Caldwell that I think I think Sadio will be on the score sheet again. But I also think Mohamed Salah will get himself a goal in this one. Um, it's another huge game, and it follows on then. We've got Brighton coming up after that, and then we've got the Manchester City game. So if we can start getting a bit of momentum together, if the Reds can go here and get a win, if we can pick up another three points, it'll push us a little bit further up the table. Obviously, we know Manchester United are travelling to the Emirates to take on Arsenal on Saturday. That's a game, by the way, that I'll be hosting a watch-along of over on our second channel, Mundo Sporto. There's a link to that in the description. And Mundo Sporto, amazingly, is almost at 7,500 subscribers in its first couple of months as a real channel. So thank you to everyone for the support over there. But as always, folks, I want to know what you think about the game against West Ham. Who are you worried about? Sue Cech, as I said earlier on, has been in absolutely brilliant form for them this season. But Lanzini is starting to play himself into a bit of form as well after being out for quite a long time. Um, and they do have danger men. We know, we know how difficult Mikel Antonio was to stop. We know... That they are a team that is filled with powerful runners. They're a team that are good aerially, a team that are good from set pieces. But that you know, Cresswell is a very good left back as well. Uh, there are there are a few players that we could look at there and think that we could be in a little bit of trouble. Um, but you know, all in all, if you're looking at the two elevens, you should you should be getting a win from this game for Liverpool. You should be going there full of confidence. Um, I don't like that stadium, by the way. I don't know how West Ham feel about that. If any West Ham fans are watching, I'd love to know your thoughts on it as well. But that's my preview, ladies and gentlemen. As always, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know your score predictions in the chat. Let me know your starting 11s. And let me know if you think, interestingly enough, if we are still in a title race or if we're in a top four race. I think we're all a little bit happier after our win the other night. So perhaps... Perhaps a title race. Why not? Let's go a bit bold. And again, who do you think should start? I'm uh, I'm happy. I'm so happy right now after last night's win. I feel like I'm just walking around with a big smirk on my face. I want to get a few comments. Uh, K Dot said, definitely top four, but Man City are winning. Yeah, look, they have the favourites. I would agree. Manchester City have to be seen as the favourites right now. If they win their game in hand, they'd have a seven-point lead over us. Um, Obviously, United draw points as well, which none of us seen coming against Sheffield United. So that was a massive result for Chris Wilder and Sheffield United. But it also meant that if we went last night and got the win, which we did, it pushes us back up to just back within three again of United. So, yeah, it's amazing what one weekend can do. You know, that's what's going to happen a lot throughout the season. There's going to be a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Um, and it's a long season ahead. So, yeah, I don't think we should be getting too ahead of ourselves yet nor do i think we should be getting too down on ourselves with a little dip that we've had 